if World Health Organization, WHO, has approved a malaria vaccine, why does the Nigerian government want to spend 82 billion naira on net? Welcome to the news and please subscribe to our channel. The news that the Federal Ministry of Health plans to borrow $200 million, an equivalent of 82 billion naira, on mosquito nets in 2022 has left many tongues wagging. This news came when Nigerians questioned the rationale behind the massive debt on the nation. Nigerians cannot understand why the ministry wants to borrow and spend that much on materials that will not improve the economy or people's livelihood. For me, there is even more reason to question the ministry over its plan. If the World Health Organization's WHO recently approved a malaria vaccine for use, why does the Nigerian government want to spend 82 billion naira on mosquito nets? Earlier this month, World Health Organization approved a malaria vaccine, Muscurex, developed by Oxford University for use across the world after the completion of a successful trial in Kenya and Rwanda. If this development indicates anything, it is for the end of mosquito infection among children and adults. But the ministry sees otherwise. A country that has spent a lot in logistics procuring and administering the COVID-19 vaccine ought to be planning to do the same for malaria, the number one killer of children and adults across the continent. Governments have been spending a lot on mosquito nets over the years to protect citizens against the infection. With prejudice, this method had not yet yielded the desired result yet, as malaria is still the number one killer of children across the continent. So it is surprising that instead of the government focusing its attention on how to get the citizens vaccinated against malaria, it is still focusing on temporary solutions with borrowed funds that would further plunge the nation into financial crisis that we are already experiencing. Budgeting 82 billion naira for net is not just irrational, it is uncalled for at this point. Now, it is so uncalled for. In fact, it is irrational. If there's anything more than irrational, it is, as in, I do not know the words to use, borrowing a whopping $200 million for the importation of mosquito nets. Mosquito nets that families have, and it has still not yet done, just like we heard in the news, the results have not been really, really that effective. I do not understand. Why does it, why does it feel like this particular government? They are not proactive. This is what I keep saying. This is what happens when it seems like people are appointed not based on merit. Because tell me why someone who has tried this particular method before and it ob obviously did not work out fine, you still want to spend more money on that method. Even after knowing as a Ministry of Health, I do not want to believe that the Ministry of Health do not have first-hand information concerning health issues. Issues like that the World Health Organization just recently released the vaccine. Of course, they should be the one to first. They should be the one to first even hear the news. Now we are planning on borrowing money. They are saying Nigeria's is the Nigeria economy is decaying on a daily basis. Dollar is now four hundred and ten naira in the bank, but in black market we know what dollar rate is now, and yet. The Ministry of Health has decided to add to Nigerians' problem. I don't understand what is going on. I keep saying it. I do not want to believe that the people involved or people that behind these policies are so learned and merited their positions. Please, it is not an offense. But you just have to ask the question. If you are so much the person, you know, you merit this job, then how can you not put on, you know, how can you do more research on this particular issue before bringing it out to the government? Borrowing 82 billion. On what? Are they being, they said, okay, they are borrowing 82 billion naira to build more hospitals. Or no, not even to build more hospitals. People die on a daily basis because there is not enough medical facilities in general, in government general hospitals and federal hospitals across the country. Quote me anywhere. You go and you see people being packed out as if they are animals in thousands, corpses. Because of one little issue that is not available, 
this equipment is not available and that equipment. That is why some people die on a daily basis. Had it been they say, oh, this particular money, we use it and, um, you know, make sure all general hospitals across the country has basic, has all the equipment needed. Then we, well, that's okay, fine. Let's even listen to you. But this one, you are doing it. You are borrowing funds for importation of mosquito nets at dollar rate 410 naira. I mean, come on. I do not want to believe that in the Federal Ministry of Health that there is no, um, how am I going to put it now? Yes, we don't just have doctors. We have, we should have economics in that organization. I do not want to believe, I do not want to believe that this happens. I do not want to believe that economics do not exist there. I mean, it is uncalled for. Borrowing money. Now, we're not even talking about how millions are being, is being thrown into this insecurity issue. And yet, millions are being thrown into this place. The money that can make Nigeria, you know, can, can bring Nigeria out of its stagnation and revive it and move it forward. Monies are being thrown into the insecurity issue. And yet, the government has refused to employ strategies that will work. Suggestions are made and the government shel shelves it. People will make suggestions now. I don't know why we keep calling ourselves a democratic system of government. People will come and make suggestions. People will come and, you know, communicate to the government, but the government will just totally ignore. The most annoying part was, was few, few days ago, the Minister of Information came out, I keep repeating this particular issue, came out to say that the press is bullying the the, the federal government is bullying the I'm, I'm asking myself what does what this says was that every suggestion made by nigerians or made by people by, by nigerians those in power and those not in power the government hears but chooses to ignore why you cannot know it all you cannot know it all sometimes i keep saying that these criticisms are way of feedback why not do it this way and do it that way? You're going to hear from the same people you say bully you. And I keep asking myself. The government will, will not will hear only the criticisms and they, will, they, will are going, they are going to use coercion to reply back. And they will come out and they will bring us policies that are, you know, when you, when you hear such policies, you're, you are so uncomfortable and you, you bury your head in shame for them. It is, it is absurd. 82 billion naira for the importation of nets. Come on now. This is very laughable. I tell you, if you tell it to any, I don't want to know, the developing countries, I'm sure they will have a good laugh. It is not, it is not supposed to be so. How do you mean Nigeria is even, the economy is thriving and this particular waste is going, it's even waste. It is a waste. You say, okay, fine, this one, we need help. Then we are borrowing money for nets. It is sad, very sad indeed. It will keep happening until competent leaders who merit position are being placed. There is the in the absence of favoritism and all other isms that terrorize this country now. On this note, we have come to the end of the news. We say thank you for tuning in to listen. Until I come your way next time, enjoy the rest of the day.